Well, as India looks to recover, one of the areas where we need to focus extensively on are loans, credit, and the ability of millions to pay back. Kunal Shah is the founder of CRED and Free Charge. He founded CRED in 2018 with the mission to bring the benefits of high trust communities to credit worthy individuals in developing countries. He's also an active angel investor who's mentored and made notable investments in companies like On Academy and Razorpay. He joins us now. Kunal, thanks very much uh, for being with us. What are some of the trends uh, in credit card usage that you have seen during this lockdown? Uh, so I think there are two ways to classify this. One is the credit card spends and credit card repayment. And, and what we have seen in credit card spends, we are seeing close to 60-70% decline across all banks. And, and particularly because there is just literally no consumption in travel, fuel, all these large categories where credit cards were uh, used uh, with the stores being shut and cities being shut. Also, what we are noticing is that the repayment behavior seems to uh, be holding quite good, uh, especially for CRED members where we have a lot of customers about 750 plus with good financial behavior that we reward regularly on the platform. We have not seen any distress, but I'm assuming that across uh, the banks, uh, there should be some early signs of distress already. We haven't seen it yet. So with the economy in distress, companies struggling to pay salaries across sectors, is there a real danger of people defaulting on credit card payments? Is that your big worry? Uh, it is uh, going to have a direct impact on all loans, not just credit cards, right? So I think there is going to be, uh, I, I'm hearing anywhere between 15-20% uh, from uh, multiple sources that there are already job losses that may be happening. But in terms of the direct uh, correlation to credit cards may be interesting to notice because considering it's the highest interest loan, people may choose to repay that sooner versus the other forms of loan which have a much lower interest rate. Are the moves by the government in allowing a three-month-plus delay on credit card bills sufficient to protect the credit score of individuals going forward? So I think this is a big thing that people should understand that uh, the moratorium only protects your credit score and allows you to pay in three months without getting a hit on your score or your uh, any negative marks on your credit bureau. But in credit cards, the interest continues to be charged, which can be as high as 40 to 45%. So if you have a one lakh rupees due at the end of March, by June end, you might be ending up paying one lakh 15,000 or one lakh 20,000, depending on the interest charge on your credit card. So we at CRED have recommended our members to pay their bills on time uh, and, and not use the moratorium uh, uh, because the interest component is not covered in that. Yeah. One final question. What does CRED have uh, for those who want to manage money better, particularly uh, in a situation like this when, 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 when credit, uh, cash, capital, all of it is missing? So I think CRED started as a platform where we wanted to reward good financial behavior. Most of the Indian customers have credit card for the first time in their family and don't really understand how the product has to be used. So what we do is three, four things. First, we allow rewards to be given for people to pay their bills on time. Second, we allow them to kind of manage multiple cards and due dates in one place and get constant reminders for that so they don't miss a due date. Third, we provide a credit line to customers that can use at a lower interest rates and sometimes even use that to get an instant loan, which they can use for multiple purposes. And the fourth thing we do is we allow people to pay rent on credit card. It allows them the extra cash flow that they may need during crisis and in general. And I think this is the four things that we have now and we have like three or four products launching in the next few months.